I was like, no way. Max, I want to do a video with me? With me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the, the mort inside of me was going, Like, I was like, awesome. Like, I'm a very, like, mellow person, usually. Like, I'm either mellow, jolly, or completely rage. That's, those are my three emotions that I show. Like, on the, like, usually, like, whenever I'm around a bunch of people, like, at the Pectin Lee, when there was, like, 80, 100 people there. <gasps> oh, no, I don't show very many emotions. I might laugh. I might, you know, go, yeah. But for the most part, I'm just like, what's up? Not manhood. Um, because... I'm an introvert, which means a lot of people sap the energy out of me. Yeah, it's kind of sad because I like like I like going to stuff like meetups and like conventions and stuff. But after a while, like I'm no good, but uh, you know. But I'm getting, but like the pack and the meetup definitely help because you know like it's it's the family, it's the pack, it's the survivors, it's the um what this nearby call his followers, his subscribers, uh the the nearbies or whatever. They're, I think it's the nearbies. I don't know. I think that's it. Um. If I'm wrong, then tell me. But yeah. And hopefully my uh, videos with Lucklin will um, merge into me being able to uh, do stuff with more YouTubers, maybe. Who knows? Um, oh, Potion of Harming. I was, I was experimenting with that. Uh, apparently you cannot actually... Uh, random, random Potion Stack. You cannot harm undead mobs with Potions of Harming. So that includes zombie pigmen, zombies, and skeletons. You cannot harm them. And you can't really hit an enderman with any type of projectile, whether it be a splash potion or an arrow, or a fire charge, or anything like that, because endermen teleport right before it hits them. And it's so freaking annoying because it's like, you're behind an enderman, and it's like, okay, potion of harming, what's up? That teleports, and then it's locked onto you and aggroed, and it's just like, kill the person who tried to hit me with a splash potion. You can try to hit him with a splash potion of health, and they will try to kill you. It's like, I was just trying to heal you, bro. I saw that, that skeleton shoot you, and I was just going to try to heal you up because I like the Endermans because they're Slenderman's cousin and Slenderman's my friend. Um, actually, like, there's a Slenderman mod that uh, Cutie Pie looked at, and uh, there was this picture of this little child with uh, Slenderman. That little child was me. Slenderman was my friend when I was a little child. So was Harold Bryan, but, um, yeah. Back when he was alive before he died back in uh, Alpha. Harold Bryan, no! Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I have never seen Harold Bright in Minecraft. I swear. Like, I... Okay. Let me show you guys something. I never play in anything but tiny because I love high frame rate. I will play in normal if I have Optifine, but at the moment I do not have Optifine. I don't even know if Optifine is updated for 1.3.2, which is what I'm running. Because I like to stay updated and, like, a bunch of the bugs that they, um, uh, took... That was in what... Because, you know, like, I, I hate when there's excess bugs in Minecraft. It's just annoying as crap. And, um, yeah. Now this is a game rant. <laughs> um, yeah. I always play in tiny, for the most part. And I've never seen Harold Bryan. And I've gone everywhere. And I've played in all difficulties. Never seen him. Oh, my goodness. No. No. Okay. It stopped. <laughs> Notch. Jeb. What's your face? Dinner bone or whatever. Some coder at Mo Yang or Mo Jang, depending on if you're American or Sweden. I don't know. I hear Sweden people call it Mo Yang. I hear American people call it Mo Jang. I do not know what to call it. It's kind of like those Japanese names like Akira, aka Akira, aka Akira, 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 and Akira. All spelled exactly the same name, but apparently pronounced different. And I have a friend whose name is that name, Ruben Katagiri, and I have no clue how to say his name, his Japanese name. Um, I know how to say his, like, Japanese surname, Katagiri. He stole me. Um, but, like, I have no clue how to say his, like, middle or first name, whatever it is. No clue. I should ask him sometime, like, if I ever actually see him face-to-face -face again, or if I ever Skype him, then, uh, I will ask him how to pronounce that name and come back and tell you guys he's this version of it. Because I do not know at the moment. But I'm going to end this now because I could go on forever. I have a tendency to just ramble and go on forever. My family hates me for that. This is for my dad. My dad likes it when I talk to him because I hardly ever talk to him because my dad's really hard of hearing. I have, I have to talk like this when I'm talking to my dad and it gets kind of annoying because it makes my throat hurt after a while. And uh, my throat is actually starting to hurt now. So I want to take a drink of a... Uh, Oh, oh. Ah. 
Or should I say swig some uh, Lipton iced tea? I think it's Lipton. No, wait, no, my mom stopped buying Lipton and she got... I think, I do believe now it's... What we use is Walmart Great Value Tea. Wait, what? Can we go back to Lipton? Then I can be like, Lipton Iced Tea, sponsor me! If you won't sponsor Nova... Nova? Chernobyl and Nova in the same word. <gasps> Ooh, epic sounding, actually. Two epicnesses. Too much epicness for his tongue to pronounce. <laughs> but, uh, then me and Nova could both try to get, uh, except that sponsors. And I make so many random references to, like, YouTubers, and, like, my sister's always like, Why are you always saying, like, in your videos, you always say, you know, so many, uh, Random YouTubers, like, is there a point to that? I'm like, well, I just kind of think about stuff. I will, mi I can mention, like, say, uh, here, how's this sound? Favorite Western voice actor, Scott McNeil. Favorite, um, like, Western cartoon act voice actor slash anime voice actor, like, someone who's actually done both, done voices in, like, anime dubs and in actual, like, Western cartoons native to America and Europe. Um, Scott McNeil. <laughs> Rock on, just saying. Scott McNeil. Oh my goodness, sorry, but if you were brought up in the if you were brought up in the nineties like I was, I was born in ninety-four. Oh my god. Scott McNeil was in every fucking thing. Seriously. Double Dragon, Scott McNeil. You know, um Extreme Dinos, Scott McNeil. Um Gargoyles, Scott Mc Scott McNeil. I'm pretty sure he was in Cat Dog 2. I'm not exactly sure, but I think he was. I don't know, I could be completely wrong on that, but you know. Oh, cat dog. Hey, even Shim has made references to that show. Because that was a fucking epic show, and my computer is starting to lag out again because I just keep going around in giant circles like this, and it's like, my, my graphics card is going, I cannot keep up with you. I was made to play movies. That might, that are in 720p. 1080p movies sometimes challenge me. But with this video game, there's too much stuff. Special Java. The fuck was that? So people, I'm playing a super flat world, and that just made the cave sound. Minecraft, you are fucked up. Just saying. <laughs> um, damn. Random cave sound. Oh my god, that freaks me out sometimes. I'll be like in a ravine playing on like hardcore, and I'll be like, <gasps> come on. And I'll hear that, I'm like, oh, so funny. I look at an enderman, I'm like, oh fuck no, bam, ah, splat. You have died. This world is now being will now be deleted. So close to diamonds, too. <laughs> oh, man. I just keep going. I was going to end this like three minutes ago or more. Damn. But, uh, yeah. Man. But Lucklin. Lucklin MC fucking WB. Oh, my God. And it was going to be scary as the fact that I don't think he really, like, he doesn't know this, but, like, he doesn't know that I cuss like a sailor. Like, seriously. At the pack family meetup, I didn't say anything because there were so many little children there. But I never said shit. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I have a tendency to say shit like a white person, and it sounds so much cool when you say, like, a black person does, like, a ghetto white black person, because there are black people that say shit as shit. But there are people like Cat Williams that go, SHIT! And it's just, like, sounds so much more, like, cooler. So, uh, I didn't say SHIT at, uh, the pack family meetup. <laughs> oh my god, if, 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 if a black person from the ghetto watches, it's gonna be like, what the fuck is, what the, what the fuck is it, what we're talking about? No, actually, the people are like, what is this? What motherfucker talking about? Um, <laughs> you seem making fun of us, and it's like, no, black people are awesome. Cat Williams is my favorite comedian of all time. I mean, seriously, Pim Chronicles Part One, one of the best comedy routine routines ever. My God, Cat Williams. I'd rather watch him than watch any other comedian. I swear, except for maybe black nerd comedy. Ooh, there's another thing, and Dave Storm's black. So you know. I love black people. Black people are awesome. Black people are the funniest people, I think. Like, white people? White people can be funny. Black... Okay, white people can either be funny or stupid. Am I... Like, no, that's it. They can either be funny, stupid, or awesome. Black people can be funny... Can be funny, somewhat stupid, or awesome. Like, I've never seen a black person be completely stupid. Never. Um... Seen them be completely dorky, but, you know, that's not completely stupid. Um... Latinas... Latinas, um, Hispanics, um, Americans of Spanish or Mexican descent, Mexicans, depending on if you're from Mexico, I don't know, I, like, okay, I have to go with Latinas, because, like, white refers to people, I would rather say white than Caucasian and black than African American, because technically black people aren't African American, most of them, 
because African Americans suggest that one of your parents was African, the other one was American. So, you know, Obama maybe? <laughs> no, like, a lot of black people aren't African American, so I don't want to say African American, because then that's more racist, in my opinion. That's just, that's just me. And, uh, Latinas, that's because they don't really have a skin color. I mean, their skin color is so close to, like, Arabs and Middle Eastern people, and I say Arabs, and I will include, like, Israelis in that, because I have not, because like, what do I say, Arabs and Jews? That's just too long, just, just Arabs, it's, it's not calling you a Arab if you're a Jew and you get offended by that, it's more of me saying, more, more, more of me referring to ethnic group, okay, Middle Eastern, let's say, um, then you have, you, you know, you have the Latinas, which I include Spanish people in that for the most part, um, black people, white people, uh, Asians, and, uh, Indians. Yeah, I, I know, I throw Indians in there, it's like, wait, isn't that Asian? Uh, no. No. Hell no. Uh, Indians are way too dark to be put in the same group as Japanese people that can be almost as white, can be almost as pale as white people, I swear. Uh, and then sometimes I like to throw in, like, the Irish thing in there with that ethnic... Ah, et et oh, damn you, dyslexic. Dyslex dyslexic? Damn you, dyslexia. There we go. I'm a dyslexic person. I've always been, always will be. So, fuck that. <laughs> oh, man. And if you're going, if you're like my sister and you go, Um, I hate to tell you this, Rage, but, um, <clears throat> dyslexic, dyslexia, the fuck, um, dyslexia only affects, uh, your writing. Uh, fuck, fucking hell no. Like, hell, no, no, no. Hell no, it don't. Um, yeah. Oh, I was saying something with something else thing. I was actually getting to a point there, um, with the randomness. <laughs> my randomness just overspilled and something else. Favorite, like, person who does like American and American cartoons is uh, Scott McNeil favorite American who does anime dubs uh, I would say Scott McNeil but I'm gonna have to go with Vic Mignogna just because there are more of his parts that I like more <laughs> go Vic Mignogna ooh that dude awesome um, Scott McNeil awesome um, yeah um, other of my favorite voice actors that are just random this um, Tom Kinney. Awesome dude. Kevin Michael Richardson. Which is like the Scott McNeil of today, I swear to God. Um, Mark Hamill. The guy who played Luke Skywalker. A.K.A. the guy who played the Joker in Batman the Animated Series. And in DC Universe Online, which is the fucking best part of it. Which I personally think they should have got, uh, for that game, I think they should have got like either Terra Strong or like the original like Harlequin. Harlequin? Harlequin? Damn, no, that's, that's a that's a court jester from a different time period. Um, Harley Quinn. Um, although peop some people say Harlequin. I prefer Harley Quinn because that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. I'm an American. We can do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> if you like it, we'll fucking milk you. Just go talk to Japan. Which I'm actually... Which, you know... I, I, I'm not upset that we actually did that. It's like, couldn't we have dropped like a couple of like non-nukes on them and got the message... Cross them. We're America. You fuck with us, we fuck you up, bitch. Um, really? I, here's something crazy. This random, random thing right here. <laughs> Japan. We drop two nukes on them. Like, what? Sixty plus sixty, almost seventy. What is it? Sixty, almost seventy years later. They like.